Hey guys, Steph, how you all doing? Hope you're good. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some products from Il Maquillage, doing a little first impressions. I actually tried out Il Maquillage Foundation a couple of years ago, I think, and it's actually one of my most popular videos on my channel. But I've not tried out any of the other products that they do, and they actually do quite a lot. I thought they maybe just did a couple of products, but they do pretty much a full face. And so I went on the website, picked out a bunch of stuff, paid for it all myself. Isn't that so weird that like as a YouTuber, it's like I paid for it all myself. It's like, oh, well done, well done you. But like, I just wanna let you guys know, like, cause a lot of people do sponsored work with Il Maquillage. This isn't sponsored at all. But yeah, I thought today we could try it all out on my face. Like I said, I love the foundation. So I'm very, very curious about the rest of the products. I've got like loads of base products, eyeshadow, pretty much everything. So let's do it. Let's get it on my face. Frog eyes. Frog eyes, let's do frog eyes. Woo! So the first product that I'm gonna use is the foundation, which like I said, I have tried out before. And okay, I didn't realize how expensive Il Maquillage products were. Like I don't, the receipt doesn't say how much they were, but I'm gonna get up the invoice. Yeah, so this foundation is 36 pounds. Now I've spent 36 pounds on a foundation, but I've spent 36 pounds on like a Charlotte Tilbury foundation or like a YSL one or something. I don't know if it's different in America, but like Il Maquillage, apart from the Facebook ads and everything, I don't feel like it's that well known. But like I said, I do really, really like this foundation. So I have it in the shade 060. And I did get this a while ago. So hopefully this will still kind of match my skin. But the idea with the foundation is you fill out a form and you answer some questions like skin undertone, skin type, all of that. And it basically chooses the foundation color for you. And yeah, at the time it was actually, like, it was actually pretty spot on. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend all of that in. I'm just using my lowest cosmetics brush, which is so good. So I am currently filming this before I've gone into the locked in house. And this will either go live when I'm in the house or just when I've left. So, um, Hope you enjoyed the show. Like, no idea what's going on with that. But yeah, if you guys haven't already seen, I'm going into Locked In, or I am in Locked In, or I have been in Locked In. So I'll like leave a link to that down below. I don't know if this foundation changes color, cause like when I put it on my face, it seems quite fair, but then when I blend it out, it's definitely like a shade too light for me, I would say at the moment, but it still works. But I don't know if it actually changes color on contact with the skin and that's how it will like work so well. But yeah, this foundation is actually good. Like I'm sure a lot of you have seen the ads on like Facebook and stuff and you're probably thinking you're lying, but like it's actually decent. Like I actually really, really like it. It's nice and glowy. It's got good coverage. My face is pretty hairy right now. Uh, I'm actually getting it done playing tomorrow in preparation for the show. I'm getting it done playing, getting a hydrofacial, getting the full works. And even though my face is quite hairy right now, it it's not really picking up on any hairy texture. Shout out to all my hairy faced friends out there. Just means I'm like one step closer to being a cat. That's all. Okay, foundation's done. So now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. So this concealer here, I'll put like all the prices on screen now. I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with this, but the concealer was 24 pounds. Like that's, that's pretty high in price, but I will say, the Il Maquillage packaging is really, really nice. Like some of these products are so heavy. I picked them up and I was like, have you actually put like weights in this to make it more heavy? But yeah, this is the Fuck I'm Flawless Concealer. I can say that because that's the name of the product. But yeah, this is the Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer and I got it in the shade 3.75. Hopefully by the time I put this on my face, I will actually go, fuck, I'm flawless. Or I will just go, fuck. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna pop some of that under my eyes. It's quite light. And this, I put in on the website, like my foundation color, and they said this would be a good concealer choice. So let's try it. it does seem a little bit fair, but you never know. Okay, that blended out really, really quickly. I'm doing that thing where I pause again. I need to learn to not do that. I'm either talking, 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 or I'm pausing and just making facial expression. <laughs> what happened? There was far too much saliva in my mouth then. Yeah, I just make like facial expressions sometimes and <laughs> that's not helpful to anyone. But this is blending out really quickly. Like you can see, it's not really taking much effort at all. I mean, you can see the difference there. I'm gonna try and stay as still as possible so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's good coverage here. And that's what my under eyes look like with just the foundation. So let's pop some more of that 
on there, going with a little bit more now. And hopefully you can see how all of that blends out. I mean, it literally does just blend out by itself, to be quite honest. I'm just tapping it in and it's like, yeah, no worries. Like, put your feet up, Steph, we got this. Do a little bit of highlighting in the center and let's go over any little spots. But I think, to be honest, the foundation's kind of covered the majority of it. Got like a little bit of discoloration here. But otherwise, I'm actually pretty happy with how this is all looking. And the color is maybe a little bit lighter than if I was to be like in store choosing it, but it still works absolutely fine. So I'm actually like, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, there's a cat hair on my eye somewhere. Did I get it? I don't know. Next up, I have the Translucent Loose Powder and I've got high hopes now. After trying out the foundation and liking the concealer, I'm like, okay, this, this could actually be good. Please don't disappoint me. It's like me when I wake up every day. I'm like, please day, don't disappoint me. Please be nice. Ooh, I definitely inhaled some of that. Please don't let there be a scandal of me like inhaling white powder or something, but that smells kind of like icing sugar. It might be icing sugar. I'll like, ugh, nope. It's been a while since I ate a product on camera, isn't it? Um, you can tell I haven't had breakfast yet today, but tangy at first. Little like Chef and Tom's review here. Tangy at first, uh, quite a sweet ass taste. Not gritty, not bad. I've taken way too much powder in the lid there, so I'm gonna tap off quite a lot. And just lightly set my face. It smells really good. It literally does just smell like icing sugar. I'm still not convinced it's not, to be honest. Let me know if any of you guys have tried out any Ill Maquillage makeup. Like, have you bought it from watching the ads? Because I would love to know your thoughts. Because that was literally me. I literally bought the foundation because I saw the ad so often. And then it was a few years later and I was like, wait, let's try this again. By the way, guys, like I'm doing this now. If you're enjoying this video so far, if you like testing videos, if you like me, like, I don't know, if you just fancy being nice, then please do subscribe, hit that like button. I'm like, I feel like I'm threatening you with my brush here, but uh, yeah, turn on notifications, subscribe, comment, like, do all the things. Thank you so much. Back to the makeup, okay. This powder has taken down the shine, but not too much. I'm really enjoying this actually. I started off putting on a really, really tiny amount and I've started piling on a little bit more just to see how much I can push it. And it does look matte. Again, hopefully you guys will be able to see this if I try and stay as still as possible, but your girl's got ADHD. It's kind of, can't do that. But yeah, it's like matte but nice matte. It doesn't look crusty, it doesn't look dusty. There's definitely still a cat hair on my face somewhere. But yeah, on my under eyes, again, it is matte, but I feel like I'm just like staring into a soul right now. It's matte, but it, I don't know, it doesn't look dry. And that's the kind of matte that I like. I don't typically go for matte makeup, but if I am, I don't want it to look dry, I just want to look not shiny. Like, that's all I want. So, yeah, again, I'm like putting everything into like good and bad piles right now, but so far everything's in the good pile. So this is good because I was actually contemplating about whether I should buy this makeup or not because it was pretty expensive. Um, but I'm actually quite happy I did so far. Next up is one of the most expensive products that I bought from Il Maquillage and it's actually in collaboration with Carly Bible. So this is the face shaping palette. I got a couple of products from that collaboration, but yeah, this was 46 pounds, which is up there, but this is one of those products that like the packaging is so heavy. It, I feel like I'm holding like a newborn baby right now. You look just like me. Yeah, this is what the palette looks like. I really, really do appreciate the general packaging. Like, could this palette be a little bit more compact? Yeah, but like, I don't really mind spending a little bit of extra money if the packaging is really, really nice. And this is just like, like the design, the pans, everything. Really, really happy with how it looks. But yeah, this is the Moonstruck Medium Palette. They have a light one, they have a deep one. I think they only have three different shades. But inside you get a bronzer, a kind of shimmery bronzer. Yeah, I'd probably say that's more of like a bronzer or a highlighter, bit of both. Uh, but you get like a shimmery bronzer, a more matte satiny sort of bronzer, which actually looks, sorry, I'm like blinding you with the mirror there. That looks really, really nice. And then you get a blusher and a highlighter. So obviously I'm gonna swatch the crap out of this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Give it a little wiggle. Oh, my jumper's stained. Oh well, it's on brand. But yeah, look, that actually looks really, really pretty. Let's do a slightly bigger swatch and I'll show you guys close up so you can see. I feel like I'm like punching you right now. But yeah, that's what it looks like. 
Looks really, really pretty. It feels nice and soft. I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go straight in with this bronzer. There's quite a bit of kickback. And I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. Probably not do that much contouring with it because it is quite warm. I think I'm just gonna generally bronze my face up. You've got a really nice big mirror in here as well, which is much appreciated. Okay, it's pigmented, but not too pigmented. So I can build it up. This is very nice. So that's me literally tapping it on once. And then I would probably go in two, maybe three times, depending on like the depth that I want. But obviously I want to warm up my foundation just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. It's actually a really nice formula. Like it is a bit messy. I'm not even like rubbing my brush around. I'm just tapping it and it is making it a little bit messy, but I'm also really kind of loving how it looks on my face. I wonder if I'm gonna be doing like any interesting makeup when I'm in the house. Cause in my head I'm like, oh, one of the only things, it's so weird because I'm talking about it, but I'm gonna be doing it or I will have done it by the time you guys watch this. But I'm thinking, okay, we're allowed to take in, you know, makeup and stuff like that. So if I get bored, I'll just do loads of makeup. But I also don't know if we're gonna have much, you know, free time to just sit around and do that kind of stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna be there, you know, super glammed up, hair done, probably more glam than you guys would normally see me or I'm just gonna look like a little, I don't know, like a little worm, but I will see. I'm like curious to watch it when I get back. Unless I come out and everyone hates me, then I, then I probably won't watch it. I'm really liking this. I really, really am. So I wanna see what the deal is with this highlightery, bronzery kind of situation. I'm gonna take a very, very tiny amount, but it's very pigmented. So I'm gonna take a tiny amount and just put it a little bit higher kind of use it as a highlighter, kind of use it as a bronzer, just because I don't really know what it is. I guess it's kind of like a blush topper, if anything. And I'm happy with that. Nice little sheen, nice little, tiny little wash of color. I'm quite happy with that. It's not something I would tend to use that often. It's like an extra step in my makeup routine when there's already 58,000 steps, but it is nice. I appreciate it. So now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter which I'm really freaking excited about, let's face it, and whack that on to my cheeks. Talk, Steph, just talk. Stop making weird facial expressions at the camera. I can. This looks really pretty. Honestly, I feel like Il Maquillage doesn't have a bad rep, but I definitely feel like it kind of falls under the category of being one of those Facebook ad brands, because that's literally like, what I see predominantly. I don't really see too many people talking about it, especially in the UK and stuff. I don't know if it's different in the US, but their products are actually really good. Like so far, I am really, really impressed. Like the highlight is pretty. I might have put a bit too much on, but whatever. I really like that. What do you guys think? It's, you can make it super intense, kind of like I have. I've put way too much on. But yeah, you can make it super intense or you can kind of press it down into the skin a little bit. It's not really got any like visible shimmer particles. It's just nice and sheeny. And then I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used for my bronzer and take some of the blusher and just go right in between my highlighter and bronzer. Connect the two. And if you saw my video where I basically just show you guys some tricks on how to literally change your face with makeup. Like if you haven't seen it, I'll try and remember to leave a link to it down below. But in that video, I basically showed you guys how blush placement can really change the shape of your face. And so what I like to do is only really focus any of my powder products, like my color powder products or here back. So I'm not putting it on the front of my cheeks at all. I'm just kind of going in between my highlighter and bronzer. And then if I do ever want to go further in a little bit. I'll take a light little dusting on my nose and maybe a little bit on my forehead as well, just to kind of keep it nice and cohesive. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, again, that's a really nice palette. Like it is pricey, it's 46 quid. And am I sitting here thinking, whoa, best products I've ever tried? No, like they are really, really nice. Um, the bronzer is really nice to be fair. Like I really, really like the bronzer. I don't know if they necessarily do it on its own, um, but this is a really nice palette. If these colors are up your streets, if you like Carly, if you like the packaging, whatever, it, it is really good. It's just a little bit up there in price. I would probably rather spend max 30 pounds. It's like closer to 50 than it is 40. So it is a lot of money. The product's good. It's just kind of like, if you have that money to spend, if you want to spend it, good product. If not, is this product going to change your life? I mean, is any makeup product ever going to change your life? 
Probably not, but uh, yeah, nice, pricey, but nice. So now for eyes, I have this palette here. Now this is just a little neutrals palette. It's the Color Boss Squad uh, Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Quad, and I got it in the shade Cool The Shots. This is so heavy. I'm pretty sure this is actually heavier than the big palette, and the big palette's heavy anyway, but yeah, very, very chunky packaging, which I do like to be fair, because obviously if you're spending that money, you're not gonna just want something super flimsy. Actually kind of reminds me of like Charlotte Tilbury, sort of vibes. So you've got four shades in the palette, you've got three shimmers and then a matte down there. I think what I'm gonna do first of all, which isn't always a good sign, like I don't mind doing it, but if you're gonna be spending that much money on a palette, you probably want a transition shade and I don't wanna go in with that really, really dark one straight away. So I'm gonna go in with the bronzer from the other palette. Just so I've got something for everything to blend into. So just like that. So now I'm gonna go in with this matte shade here, which is called No Bullshit. Fair enough, like I appreciate the names of these products. And I'm just gonna do your typical standard Steph Smoky Eye, where I put the dark one on the outer corner, shimmers and lighter colors on the inner corner, nice and easy. This is actually blending out really, really nicely. I am not really doing much at all. Really, really happy with that actually. Now I'm gonna go in, let's do, ooh, what we're gonna do? Let's go in with this shade here. I'm going in with a N32 shader brush from Kit Stars, and I'm going in dry. Come on, that's what, that's what he said. Oh, that's what he said, she said, they said. I'm just gonna pat that all over the center of my lid and just lightly blend that into the other shades. This sort of look is my go-to smoky eye. Like if I want something to look, like I've put in effort and you can't quite tell if it took me ages to do my makeup or like five minutes longer than usual, I will normally just put a slightly dark color in my crease and then just shimmer all over the lids. I am gonna dampen it slightly just cause I'm curious. I wanna see what it's like. Yeah, just adds a little bit more intensity. It's nice. And then I'm gonna go in with a little hint of this, just cause I may as well use all the colors. Like I may as well, there's only four but I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of that, more so on the inner corner, not like right in there, but just blending inwards. And again, very subtle, but you can just sort of see how it looks and it's nice. Like this is actually, it's actually a nice kind of everyday palette. Again, I would probably, if I could change anything, I would probably get rid of that shade just cause I like the cool tones more and put in more of a transitional color. But that's just me, man. And then I'm gonna go in with this highlighty shade here, on this little pencil brush and pop that right on the inner corner. Okay, that's stunning. I like that a lot. And then on the brow bone as well. Remind me to do my eyebrows please because I, oh, I always forget now unless I do them first. So like, please sound off in the comments. Remind me by the end of this video to please do my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm actually very, very impressed so far, okay. Next I have their black card liner. This is the waterproof liquid eyeliner and I'm pretty sure it's just like a felt tip. So yeah, it looks like this and it's got like, how do I explain it? I mean, it is just like a felt tip. It's not like one of those brush felt tips that you might have seen. But yeah, the formula looks quite nice, very, very black. So I'm gonna go in and do a little flick with this. to elongate my eyes a little bit more. Again, I'm not like bringing it up too high or anything. I just want to kind of extend my eye a bit. Ooh, that was very easy to use. This was also one of the products that a lot of people raved about. And I do get why. It's not picking up on like the felt tip, isn't getting clogged up with eyeshadow or anything. It's just gliding on and it's very, very precise at the end. Hopefully it'll kind of stay like that. Hopefully it won't sort of like get blunt over time, but like the little inner corner that I did there, again, gonna try and gonna try and stay still. The inner corner there was very, very easy to do. I'm really pleased with this. Oh my god. Next, mascara. So this is called the High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. I don't know if it's in like the shades. I don't know if it's called Icon. Either way, it's a black mascara and the wand is plastic, which I love. So I'm just gonna shove that right on my lashes. Haven't curled them or anything. I never normally do. I feel like curled lashes on me just makes my lashes literally like curl in on themselves. I can never find the right lash curler to actually make it look Good. I'm liking this mascara. I'm not having any issues with it, but I'm not, I mean, I still prefer 
L'Oreal Telescopic. I still prefer some of my Essence ones. I still prefer some of my Primark mascaras. It's just one of those things that like, yeah, it's nice. If, if Il Maquillage is like your favorite brand in the whole wide world, then nice mascara. But let me double check the pricing because it's 23 quid. I mean, I could buy probably like eight mascaras from Essence for this price and I feel like it would kind of give me the same effect. So it's not doing anything bad. It's just for the money. It's not giving me like, it's not giving me enough to warrant the price tag. All right, so I just did the other eye off camera, did my brows and now, now what am I doing? Lips, I'm doing lips. So I have, a couple different lip options. I have a liner from the Carly Bible uh, collaboration. This one is in the shade Luna. And I also have this nude lipstick, which honestly, I, I saw it and I was like, wow. But before I do the default nude lip, because I do have somewhere to go in a bit, I wanted to try out this. So this is one of their liquid lipsticks called the Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream. And I got it in the shade uh, Matte Snob. Yeah, Matte Snob. And look at the color. I am obsessed with it. But this again, is so heavy. It's like, again, it's not that much lighter than the actual eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I figured I would try this color out first, see what it's like, have a little bit of fun with it, and then probably set off the nudes. So yeah, this is what the doe foot looks like. Smells nice, just got like a typical sort of cakey vanilla type smell. I never wear lip colors like this, but I love how they look. Ooh. Kind of smells like root beer, to be honest. It's very, very matte. And I feel like it makes my teeth look not quite yellow, almost kind of blue. Do you guys see? Like, I don't know, maybe it'll look different by the time I've like looked at everything on screen. But I feel like it makes my teeth look kind of greeny, bluey. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's hella pigmented. You can't deny that. I took off my little frog ears. There's something about this color that I just really, really love. And I don't necessarily think it's that flattering on me. I don't necessarily think it makes my teeth look the most amazing color. But there's something about this lip color that I just love. This actually does feel quite nice. Um, it's obviously matte. I personally do prefer normal lipsticks over liquid lipsticks. But as far as matte lip, 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 lip liquid lipsticks, English, as far as this kind of lip product goes, it does, it does feel pretty good. And it doesn't seem to be like drying up my lips too much. It doesn't have any transfer. Packaging is bomb. Applicator is really easy to apply everything with as well. So this is actually quite a nice liquid lipstick formula. Like if you were looking for a certain color, obviously I can't imagine everyone would be there like, I'm gonna buy every single shade. But if there's like a certain color that you really wanted, the formula is pretty decent. She I to take it off. You gotta, you gotta put in some elbow grease to take this off. Doesn't seem to be staining though, which is good. That's what we like to see. And now I'm gonna go in with this lip liner in collaboration with Carly Bible. It's the waterproof lip liner, like I said, in the shade Luna. And it's just this amazing brownie tone. And I cannot wait to just do a nice little ombre situation. Oh, my mustache is popping today. So I'm just gonna do a little ombre situation and fill in half of my lips with lip liner. Really pigmented and it's applying nicely as well. It's not too waxy, not too creamy. It doesn't really feel like it's gonna budge or anything, which is nice, because I hate that. That's like one of my pet peeves when you put on a lip liner and it just, it just goes. It's like, it's a lipstick. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick in the shade Beige Us. It's like a semi-matte apparently and literally look, it's such a nice nude. And I'm gonna put that all over my lips. Oh, 90s nude lip. Hello. Oh my God. Wow. I need to do some tidying up here, okay. What just happened here? It's like, okay, ignore like the smudging and stuff and how badly I did this. But like, if we zoom in quickly, it's like me going over the lip liner with the lipstick didn't blend it, it just created an extra layer. That's quite odd. Huh? What? <laughs> I kind of prefer the purple. I don't know about you guys. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can... Oh, what? I'm trying to blend it all in together, but it's just kind of taking 
everything off. Like, can you guys see that there? That's where the lip liner like was before I started blending. And then as I try and blend, I messed up. It literally like takes all the product off. That's weird. Um, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> like I, I actually feel like it looks better without even anything going on. I'm gonna try it all again. Like I'm gonna fully go over my lips here. Blank canvas. And I'm actually gonna go in with the lipstick first, which I never do, but I feel like maybe I put on too much lip liner. The lipsticks are quite sheer. You know, it's, it gives you a nice wash of color, but it's not, it's not like super opaque. So yeah, that's the lipstick on its own. You can see it's very sort of beigey and nudey. And let's try this again. I'm gonna try and use a bit less. That's already looking way better. That's way better, but I do still feel like I kind of prefer the purple. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer the purple or the nudes? Cause I do kind of like the purple. Yeah, I feel like these products separately are quite nice. Like you, they work doing it this way, like they work absolutely fine. But I feel like doing the lip liner first maybe wasn't the best shout because this lipstick's quite creamy. This lip liner's quite matte. And so I feel like the two together just didn't quite blend properly. But if you do it like the opposite way, it does seem to work. But yeah, I do feel like I kind of prefer the purple. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take my stained shirt off quickly just so I don't look like a total mess. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I am actually pretty happy with how everything turned out. It's just a very nice kind of everyday sort of natural soft glam kind of situation. I do prefer the purple lip, which I didn't think I necessarily would. So let me know which one you guys prefer. Il Maquillage is definitely, it's like it's up there in price, but I do really like quite a lot of the products. The products that I would probably say are actually worth the money. I would have to say like a lot of the base products, like the foundation, the powder, didn't see that one come in. The concealer's really, really nice as well. And what else? The liner, I'm gonna see how it is after I've used it multiple times, but it does, like it was so easy to use and it was really, really nice. So yeah, overall, I would say I'm pretty impressed with Il Maquillage makeup. And I think the good thing as well, I don't know where the sheet is, but I don't know how like true this is, I don't know how easy it is, but apparently if you guys don't know the products, you can get a refund and send them back and stuff. So like, I don't know, like, that's obviously an option. You can try stuff out and apparently send it back if you don't like it. But yeah, personally, I'm really quite into a lot of their stuff and now I'm very, very curious that like, if they bring out more products, I'm gonna be keeping my eye out because yeah, pretty impressed. As always guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. And let me know if you've tried out any Il Maquillage products. Let me know if you've seen the Facebook ads because I feel like everyone's seen the Facebook ads. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if there's any other brands you guys want me to try out. Maybe I could try out other brands that you like see on Facebook or whatever. Just let me know and I'm happy to have a little look. If you guys did happen to enjoy this video, then as always, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really, really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time and only half of my audience that actually watch my videos are subscribed. I think YouTube has unsubscribed some people. So like double check if you're thinking I want to be subscribed to Steph I think I am just like double check just down here and like who knows maybe you're one of the lucky people that YouTube selected to <laughs> Unsubscribe to me, but yeah notifications Like comment all the things all, all the things I need like a little checklist or something And of course depending on when this video goes out if you haven't already seen it or if it's like live right now I'll leave a link down below to the locked in series which I am in I literally, it's it's crazy. I leave in a couple of days, madness. But yeah, I'll leave a link to that down below. But apart from that, guys, that is it from me. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.